This is gonna be a controversial video, so get ready. Hey guys, Rebecca Alvey here. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. I am the author of the Urban Fantasy Cold Wings, which is out now. I don't normally jump on trendy authorship topics, while well, they're so relevant at least. <laughs> But, um, I've been meaning to do a video about AI for a while, and the timing kind of works out. Um, because just in case you aren't aware, this week the once popular organization NaNoWriMo is in some hot water because of their recent post on their stance on AI. So let's talk about that. Uh, the full article will be linked down below, but I'm going to just kind of summarize a little bit here. Um, but NaNoWriMo's article suggests that condemning AI is both classist and ableist, as not all writers have the financial or physical and mental ability to write, or at least write well. Um, and the wording of this statement makes it seem like if you condemn AI, you're a bad person. But the reality is this, that it's way more nuanced than they make it seem. Now, I'm, not, I'm personally not against AI. I actually have um, played around with it in different stages of the writing process. I have like an AI-specific project that I'm just like working on here and there when I want to take a break from Cold Wing, my Cold Wing series. Um, so I've played around with it in different stages of the writing process, and I definitely found that it has its uses in the writing process, and from what I've seen, it really doesn't do what authors are so afraid that it does. And uh, let's get into what that fear of AI is. First off, the major issue that a lot of people have with AI is that it steals copyrighted material. Um, so yes, many AI models, maybe all of them, I haven't researched that deeply to know if all of them or just most of them, were trained on published work. But you know what? So are writers. You and your writing style are formed from every book you've ever read, every TV series or movie you've watched, every story you've ever consumed. Courts have dismissed cases alleging copyright infringement by AI because there's no evidence that it actually infringes on anyone. Uh, and since AI works are prompted by the user, unless your prompt is, quote me the full text of, insert novel here, it's not going to just regurgitate a full novel for you. In my experience with prompting AI, you only get a couple thousand words before it gets really incoherent. And you, as the writer, still have to create the prompt that gives you what coherent words you can get in one go. And uh, your fear is an emotional response. Sorry, but it is. Honestly, and that fear isn't even really necessarily about AI. It's about the concern that we, as human writers, are going to be replaced by AI. And that's just not realistic. It's not going to happen. AI can only do so much without human ideas behind it. Like I said before, beyond a couple thousand words, it tends to turn into incoherent nonsense that sounds more like a three-year-old who's never read anything in English in their life wrote it. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. So, um, AI is a tool. That's all it is. It's just like a word processor or plotting software. In fact, if you use the native spelling and grammar check in your word processing program, you're already using AI. It's not, an, it's not a new thing. It's been around for years. We're just using it differently now. My favorite AI tool is called Novel Crafter. It has a codex where you can input all of your information about characters, location, and lore. And then it has a lovely chat AI feature where you can interact with those things. Imagine having a talk with your main character and getting their feelings on the world you're thrown into. AI has deepened my understanding of my own characters and the world I have created. 
It's not stealing anything, it's just building on the information that I've given it. I don't think it's lazy to use AI. It doesn't actually write the book for you. You still have to build the characters, do the world building, and outline the novel. You can use AI to generate ideas for those parts of the process, but it only gives to the degree that you put into it. It's not going to give you a perfect plot that you can write a book on. You're going to have to know how to prompt it. There is so much more to AI than what I've covered in this brief video, and so much more nuance to the conversation that I just haven't done the research to learn about yet. If you're curious to learn more about AI and how it can be used as a tool to assist in writing, and that it's not something to fear, I've linked a few channels down below that look deeper into using AI as a writer. I highly recommend their nerdy novelist. He can explain things much better than I can. Thanks for watching and listening to my two cents about the whole AI debacle. If you found this video informative, please leave a like. And while I encourage discussion in the comments, please keep it civil. Any outright bashing of AI or those who use it will be deleted. Again, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you found this video informative. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. Next Friday will be my first writing stream of the month. And then we'll be back to less controversial writing topics. Until next time, bye!